sitting on the couch with my PS4 controller in hand, I wanted one thing, to watch a movie that I had previously downloaded and or burnt from a CD. I had all these movies on my computer, but no way to actually stream them to a TV. Until now. This is the Plex Media Server. This allows you to stream across home networks or even out of your network. Movies, music, or any other media. Quality is literally impeccable. This is me recording it uncompressed, fully from the PS4 while it's streaming over the network. What you're looking at is a network attached storage device. 20 terabytes of storage that attaches to your network. A native app allows me to download this Plex Media Server onto this device and stream all of the movies that are stored on it and music. This device is linked into the network via two ethernets, which plug in to this ethernet switch, allowing for quick speeds. Now, first off, I understand that not everyone has a network storage device or something like that, and it's very easy. You can go to the Plex's website um, and you can download an application for Windows or Mac, as you can see here, and then set up your network storage device from any computer, any computer whatsoever, and you'll select the folders with what you'd like to share, whether that be files, you can share documents, like kind of like the cloud. This is your own personal cloud is what this is. You can share documents, you can stream movies, you can do music, you can do all of this across. And so you have apps for all Android devices, iOS, Windows devices, um, obviously, like I said, it's for Apple TV. It works on Xbox, PS4, PlayStation, you name it. It works on those consoles and devices. And then, of course, I've actually watched a movie in my home theater with this subscription service, had full surround sound while it was all being streamed over a network. Kind of crazy, but really cool. And so this is the interface that you see when uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is the interface you see when you log into your Plex server. And right now, because the only thing I have in my Plex server is movies, I actually have thousands of movies um, that, you know, movie files that, you know, and these are movies you can't get on Netflix. These are movies that I want to watch series like Breaking Bad that, you know, I know that's on Netflix right now, but eventually that might be taken off. I have it all on this media server and can stream it anywhere. I could be at the gym on my phone on the app watching movies from this hard drive at home. And so... I'd like to show you, it organizes all your movies. It's crazy. So Interstellar is one of my favorite ones. You have a search box, which I was searching up there, but it names them. It gives them a thumbnail. This is Plex, by the way, the Plex media server. It names all your movies properly. It organizes them in alphabetical order, and it also gives them the proper thumbnail. So this is what you're seeing right here. Am I correct? I am. So now check this out. In my actual uh, movie folder, and this is my actual folder of movies that I that I sent to Plex and it organized it for me. Look at how some of this stuff is named. There's underscores there. Most of them don't have thumbnails. Some of them do, but most of them don't. These are just random movies. Some of them are MP4s. Some of them are AVIs, if this means anything to you, but it decodes them and streams them for you no matter what file type it is. This is an extremely powerful software. I mean, extremely powerful. Plex is a subscription service that I have used a ton over the last couple of weeks, as well as my family. My family loves it. Uh, they, they're really in the movies, and I have a huge movie library that I've actually accumulated over many years of actual movies I've downloaded and DVDs I've had that I've digitalized. And to be able to access this from Apple TVs, from smart TVs, from consoles such as the Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One, it's incredible. I mean, it's just game changing. Even from my iPhone, I can be sitting there and start browsing my movies and watch a movie on my iPhone from anywhere. Anywhere. I can listen to music from anywhere. It's incredible. And Plex is an awesome service. Uh, I do see how it's not for everybody, though. And this is what I'd like to say. What, what's the downfall to Plex? There really is no downfall because this is a service that is obviously a very specialized service that you'd go after if you're interested in such a thing. However, not everyone has an application for it. If you don't have your own music or you don't have your own movie library, you're not going to have a lot of reason to have Plex. With Spotify, a lot of us have our music in the cloud, right? On this, on the servers where we just stream it from already. And Netflix, of course, serves that that kind of streaming uh, movies across the internet as well. However, I myself have built up this huge library, put a ton of hours into it, and Plex immediately organized it and allowed me to stream it anywhere with no issues. So I really do like this service. If this is something you're looking for, I highly recommend it. That's the top streaming subscription service you can get. If you have a network storage device, it's incredible for that as well. 
So that's my overview on Plex. Really enjoy it. I love it. And I hope some of you can find an application for it as well. For your convenience, I put the lovely link to Plex.tv down below in the description. As well as that, tweet at Plex and say something about how you enjoy this review or learn something about it. Um, and then, of course, tag me so you don't leave me out. But each time you do this, you are basically submitting a, uh, your name into the hat every single time you do this and help me out for winning a huge prize. It's, it's going to be announced this week. So, uh, you know, hold tight. But it's going to be good and it's going to be worth it. Take two minutes to do this. If I were you, I'd do it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Peace.